Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do multiplication by 4. Multiplication by 4 is kind of like times 2 but double. And that kind of gives us an idea. If you go back to the, the number line here, the numbers from 1 to infinity, and notice we have every other number is an even number. That was the numbers we used for multiplying times 2. So when we multiply times 4, we grab every other even number. In other words, we skip the first one and we take the second one. And that's the answer to 4 times 1. Then we skip this one, take the next one, and that is the answer to 4 times 2. Skip this one, go to the next one, that is the answer to 4 times 3. Skip this one, go to the next one, that's the answer of 4 times 4. Skip the next one, take this one, that's the answer to 4 times 5. And you can see, as you keep going, you take every other odd number, and that is the answer to the multiplication table when we multiply times 4. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, and then we continue on, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 9 is 36, and 4 times 10 is 40. Then there's some other tricks you can use in your head when you do multiplication. The first two are fairly easy, because 4 times 1, everybody knows that one, to be 4. 4 times 2, that's easy, that is 2 times 4, which is 8. But now the next one, we simply have to add 2 times 2. With other words, add 2 to 8, you get 10. Add another 2, you get 12. And that's the answer to 4 times 3. With other words, this is 8 plus another 4. 4 times 4 is kind of interesting. That's something we should just flat out memorize. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, you get 16. And later on, when we start doing exponents, you'll understand why you say, OK, now understand why he said 4 times 4 should be easy to memorize. 4 times 5, well, that is half 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 5, since that's the halfway, halfway point, that would be 1 half. 4 times 10, which is 40. So 1 half times 40, which is 20. 4 times 6 is the halfway point. Add another 4 to that. That would be 20 plus 4. And 4 times 7 would be 20 plus 2 times 4, which is 8. So this gives us 24, and this gives us 28. So sometimes you need to play those little tricks in your head when you're multiplying. You go, okay, 4 times 5, I know what that is, that's 20. Therefore, 4 times 6 is just 4 more, that's 24. Or 4 times 7, that's 8 more, that's 28. Now, 4 times 8 would be your last answer, 28 plus 4, which is 32. Another way of looking at that is this can be written as 40. That means 4 times 10 minus 4 times 2. And that would be 40 minus 8, which is equal to 32. 4 times 9 would be 40 minus 4, which is 36. And of course, 4 times 10 is equal to 40. So that's how you can make things a little bit easier. I remember when I was struggling with this when I was younger, I would say, well, I know the first three, I know the fifth one, and the fourth one would be the halfway point between 12 and 20, that's 16. I know the next one that's easy, that's just 20 plus 4, and the next one that's easy, that's just 20 plus 8. But how do I remember 4, four times 8? Well, I can say, oh, that's equal to 4 times 10, which is 40, minus 2 times 4, which is 8. 40 minus 8, that is equal to 32. The next one was always easy. I went 4 times 10, and then I subtract the 4 from it, it gave me 36, and 4 times 10 is 40. So that way you just narrow it down to just a few that may be hard and the rest are easy to figure out. And then it's not such a big task to memorize the entire table of four times a number. That's how it's done.